This identity asks us to prove that the sine of an angle times the cosine of that angle times the tangent of that same angle equals 1 minus cos squared of that angle. So first thing I always do is I break my identity apart into left side and right side, and then I like to replace my tan thetas with sine over cos. The fact that tan theta is the same as sine over cos is called the quotient identity, and it just helps me decrease how many different things are floating around here. By rewriting it into sine and cos, I make it similar to this other stuff that's written beside it. Now I have sine times cos times sine over cos because I'm multiplying by cos and dividing by it at the same time. I can cancel them. What I'm left with here is sine theta times sine theta, which happens to be the same as sine squared theta. Now some people will have you write sine squared theta equals 1 minus cos squared theta. That's what this is over here, because that's the Pythagorean identity. I want to point out, though, that if you were to change the right-hand side as well, some teachers don't like you doing this, but you can replace 1 with sine squared plus cos squared, because sine squared plus cos squared of any angle is always equal to 1, and you still have your minus cos squared sitting there. Plus cos squared, minus cos squared cancel each other out, and you're left with sine squared. Wow, that's really cool. If you are with one of those teachers who doesn't like you changing both sides, I have a treat for you. You can play with both sides, but then erase what you had written over here in reverse order and pretend that you did it that way. What I mean is I can change this to sine squared uh, plus cos squared minus cos squared. That's obvious that plus zero became plus something minus itself. Cool. But then you can cleverly replace this with a 1, because sine squared plus cos squared is 1. Now you can pretend that you never did that, that you never fiddled with that side of the equation. Anyways, my left side equals my right side. I can celebrate, therefore, left side equals right side, and therefore also the sine of an angle times the cos of an angle times the tan of that same angle equals 1 minus the square of the cos of that angle. Nice. Best of luck.